Welcome to Fragmentality, this is Kunal here. Today I'd be reviewing FIFA 14. Pure shots, precision movement, real life gaming dynamics are these the add-on features which discriminates FIFA 14 from its previous games? Let's find out. So there's like no standing out feature in FIFA 14. It is just uh, similar to FIFA 13 in terms of visual aspects. Uh, if you compare FIFA 13 and FIFA 14, the graphics are almost similar. However, the most important feature for FIFA 14 is the AI. You have players who, are, who can attack properly, who can defend properly. You want to pass through them, they can understand where you want your players to be. And vice versa for the defenders. Also, the shooting for FIFA 14 has uh, improved in a lot of ways. Uh, you can actually visualize that the ball dipping into the corner when you're hitting a goal or a straight out shot. It has a real life dynamics to the ball when you're uh, shooting or when you're passing the ball. Another important aspect for FIFA 14 is better movement of players. This is due to precision movement. What it does, it adds a real world effect to uh, the gaming system. Uh, it helps players use their weight management. Here, the most important focus towards the game is using the weight rather than the pace. The pace for the game has slowed down a bit. It lets my players run into the box. It helps that extra one second that you need to pass the ball. Uh, it can hold out uh, for defense to holding the ball against when certain people are attacking you. FIFA 14 has added a new area of mini games. Some of them are very addictive. You know, you can keep on playing them for hours and hours at end. Ultimate teams and co-op seasons were there present uh, in the previous seasons of FIFA. However, for ultimate teams, FIFA 14 has added an extra element that is chemistry cells. Uh, I play in a more fluidic manner so I can have that extra moment of choosing those players who have a fluidic touch, who run into that fluidic movement. So depending on your gaming style, you can have those uh, those team members, those players in your particular team. So what's the verdict for FIFA 14? It isn't a landmark game. It's not going to be a wow breakthrough kind of a game. But yeah, it has a certain effects, certain non-advantages, which discriminates itself from FIFA 13. But the question is, should you buy that game? Uh, yes, if you don't have previous versions of FIFA, then I can recommend that game. However, if you have FIFA 13 or FIFA 12, I don't think so. There's like a re uh, requirement for you to purchase FIFA 14. If you want the latest news and happenings from the gaming world, please subscribe to my channel. And if you like FIFA, please like the video and share it with your friends. See you later. Bye-bye. Take care.